Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRock's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2005. The CozyRock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the Salesforce source component, which you can use to integrate or migrate data from the Salesforce service. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. In CozyRock's SSIS Plus product, we provide source and destination components for Salesforce, which support both 32-bit and 64-bit modes. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a way to create a query dynamically at runtime using an expression and SOQL. What I'll be doing is getting six columns from only the contacts that were created since the last time this package was run and the date last run was saved in a table in a SQL Server database. The first thing we did was we set up a variable that will contain the date that the package was last run. We'll pull that from the SQL Server table and then we set up an execute SQL task and here you can see that we chose the connection manager and we set the result set to a single row. Here's our SQL statement and there we're just pulling the date from the SQL Server table. And now we'll go look at the result set. And here you can see saved date is the name of the field in the SQL Server table. And there's the variable name that I already showed you. Now we'll go over to data flow. Right mouse click and we look at the properties. And here you can see the Salesforce source statement is a property and now you'll see that used in our expression so we choose that Salesforce source statement as the property that we want to work with and then we'll go take a look at the expression this expression is generating an SOQL statement that pulls five columns from the contact record and one column from the account record and it's only going to pull the data from the records that were created since the last time this package was run based on our filter using the variable date last run. And now we'll go back to the control flow and here's another execute SQL task and here again we chose the right connection manager and we're going to be writing the current date and time into the SQL Server table now and here's our statement that we used to do that had to get a little creative to put the date in the right format for Salesforce. And now we're done with that and we're all set and ready to execute. And You can see we only got six rows because of these are the only ones that were created since the last time the package was run. And that's all there is to it. In summary, I've shown you an easy way to create a query dynamically at runtime using an expression and SOQL. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.